You're watching News 25. Local coverage you can count on. News 25 is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law, voted best of Las Vegas. Give them a call, 702-727-9900. Thank you for joining us here on News 25 and Ace Country Radio and streaming at kpvm.tv. And now on Roku devices on this Friday, Nevada Day, October 25th. Good evening, I'm Chris Palermo. Here's what's happening. A structure fire in Las Vegas claims the lives of four people and News 25 has this story. In a tragic incident in the southwest Las Vegas area, two adults and two children were found dead in the remains of a house fire earlier Thursday morning. Authorities report that a mother and one of her children managed to escape by jumping from a third floor window, sustaining unspecified injuries in the process. They were transported to UMC for treatment. Clark County Fire Chief John Steinbeck confirmed that firefighters faced intense conditions upon arrival shortly after 4 a.m. Witnesses reported hearing an explosion during the blaze, which resulted in extremely heavy fire, engulfing the second and third floor of the home. Firefighters were initially unable to enter the floor due to overwhelming heat and flames, and the roof ultimately collapsed during the firefighting efforts. The cause of the fire is currently under investigation, with officials seeking further insight into the circumstances of this heartbreaking disaster. The identities of the deceased and injured have not yet been released. More news now. Earlier today, a 4.7 magnitude earthquake spread across the valley, and here is what we know so far. Residents in and around Pahrump experienced a small tremor early Friday morning following a 4.7 magnitude earthquake detected in Stove Pipe Wells, California at 1.05 a.m., according to the USGS. Stove Pipe Wells is located in Death Valley, approximately 65 miles from Pahrump and 150 miles from Las Vegas. So far, there have not been any reports of damage, although several aftershocks have occurred, including a 4.3 magnitude earthquake at 8.04 a.m. A map provided by the USGS indicates that much of the Pahrump and Las Vegas Valley experienced weak to light shaking based on the user responses. Authorities have continued to monitor the situation as the day goes on and as residents report their experiences. And did you know thousands of Clark County voters must verify their mail-in ballots before Election Day on November 5th? Here is Ava Parducci with how you can ensure that your ballot is counted. Thousands of voters in Clark County, Nevada need to verify their mail-in ballot signatures as the election approaches. Recent data shows that 2,906 mail-in ballots have been rejected due to non-matching signatures, with around 300 ballots missing signatures entirely. To ensure their votes are counted, voters are encouraged to check their ballot status on the Election Department's website and must provide a signature confirmation by 5 p.m. on November 12th following Nevada law. As of now, over 142,000 mail-in ballots have been processed, with Election Day set for November 5th. Voters are reminded to mail their ballots early to avoid potential delays, and they can also register to vote in person up to Election Day. The U.S. Postal Service has advised voters to send their ballots as soon as possible to prevent any issues. As the election draws nearer, postal officials are preparing for an increase in mail-in ballots emphasizing the importance of timely mailing to ensure deliver before the deadline. Clark County has implemented measures to streamline the voting process, including a centralized location for processing mail-in ballots. The county has also worked to maintain accurate voter rolls, removing ineligible and deceased voters as part of the election reforms enacted by the Nevada legislature in 2021. These efforts aim to enhance the integrity and efficiency of the voting process in the upcoming election. And Donald Trump held his latest Las Vegas rally last night. And our News 25 Las Vegas correspondent, Maria Centers, as usual, was there for it all. Republican presidential candidate and 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, held a sassy Sin City rally on the east side, packed as always with proud patriots. President Trump spoke at length about current events taking place on the global arena. Let's take an inside look at this massive campaign event. We see how they try to silence and censor those of us who dare to criticize them, saying that we are spreading misinformation or disinformation and therefore must 
be censored? How can we trust a person to uphold her oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States who does not believe in the First Amendment? As an immigrant, a legal immigrant, it's a great feeling of patriotism, being around these people, having support and unity. And this is something that I want to see for four more years. And I am here because um, his goals resonate with me. And I, I relate with his goals for our country. I am here, happy to be in the U.S because I worked hard and I feel that I am better off four years ago and I want that again for four more years. She's working hand in glove with the mainstream media and big tech, doing all that they can to erase the past and try to make us believe that this new picture is somehow true. They're so afraid and they're doing all of this because they see that a free people in a free country are the greatest threat to their power. Yes, your vote is critical, but you gotta bring 10 people with you to make sure that our voices are heard in the swamps of Washington. How long have you been on the Trump train? Oh, uh, actually not too long. I, I, I am a convert. I studied this, I watched the news, I did my research, and now I know my choice. Your support, we will cut your taxes, end inflation, slash your prices, raise your wages, and bring thousands of factories back to America and back to Nevada. We will build America, we will buy America, and we will hire America. I will end the war in Ukraine very quickly. I will stop the chaos in the Middle East and I will prevent World War III. Where are you from and what motivated you to come today? Northern California, uh, Sacramento, and I went to the Reno one about three weeks ago. Came down here with some friends and wouldn't miss it. Trump is going to absolutely crush it this year, so looking forward to it. Did you vote yet? Yes, I have, so ready to go. Early voting is underway and everyone get out of here and start voting. stand on the verge of the four greatest years in the history of our country. They will be great years. With your help, from now until Election Day, we will redeem America's promise. We will put America first, and we will take back the nation that we love. We are one people, one family, and one glorious nation under God. We will never give in. We will never give up. We will never back down, and we will never, ever surrender. Emelina, here we are right after Trump's latest rally. Yes, yes, we are, and it was such a great rally. We loved it. We love our Trump. We love our Trump. Staying here at the Trump International, it's fantastic. They've treated us great, and we got to get Donald Trump in to win. Thank you very much, Maria. Great job as usual. And coming up, we've got some great ideas for all the Halloween festivities and activities Around the Valley, you're watching News 25. You're watching News 25. Local coverage you can count on. And welcome back to News 25. I'm Chris Palermo, KPVM's very own Mikey Ruhan. will be hosting an open mic this weekend. Here he is to tell you all about the details. Hello, it's Mikey Ruhan. Just wanted to let you know I'll be at the Dry Creek Saloon this Sunday from 3 to 5. I'll be hosting an open mic. That's uh, 1330 Fifth Street right here in Pahrump. So come on out, share the spotlight, share the stage, and share your talents. Thank you very much, Mikey. We can't wait for that. And the Nye County Torch Run raised... $5,300 for local Special Olympic athletes as deputies athletes. And a K-9 completed a 2.1 mile run, highlighting community support and engagement. 
On Saturday, October 19th, local law enforcement officers and athletes gathered for the Nye County Law Enforcement Torch Run, raising over $10,000 for Special Olympics Nevada. The event beginning at Saddle West Hotel and finishing at the Nye County Sheriff's Office saw participants cover a 2.5-mile route while carrying the Flame of Hope in support of individuals with intellectual disabilities. The Torch Run is a part of the Law Enforcement Torch Run program, where law enforcement officials volunteer to raise funds and awareness for Special Olympics, providing a cost-free, inclusive activities for athletes. The Nye County's contribution of $5,615 combined with the neighboring Clark County efforts brings the regional total to $17,000. These funds will directly support local athletes in year-round sports and engagement programs. Approximately 20 runners, including law enforcement officers and Special Olympic athletes, took part in this event. With the campaign open until November 2nd, donations can still be made through the Special Olympics Nevada website. With the hope of surpassing fundraising totals in other Nevada jurisdictions, including the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, Special Olympics Nevada expressed their gratitude to everyone who was involved, noting that the support from participants and sponsors is vital in sustaining its mission and positive impact throughout Nye County. Well, a busy day for sports. Vegas Golden Knights underway playing a special afternoon matinee. World Series about to get underway. Here's Mikey with your look at sports. Time now for your News 25 look at sports and streaming at kpvm.tv. And now on Roku devices, the Vegas Golden Knights are taking on the Ottawa Senators right now in their Nevada Day matinee. Happy Nevada Day and go Knights. The University of Reno has issued a statement regarding its women's volleyball team's match against San Jose State. They write, Due to not having enough players to compete, the University of Nevada women's volleyball team will not play its scheduled Mountain West Conference match at San Jose State on Saturday, October 26th. Per Mountain West Conference policy, the match will be recorded as a conference loss for Nevada. This comes after several players refused to play due to a transgender player being on the opposing team. The Raiders welcome the Kansas City Chiefs this Sunday, 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 and possibly Taylor Swift. And it's World Series Day. Dodgers and Yankees, that game is in progress. Brum Valley Trojans varsity football crushed Boulder City last night, 55 to 20. Sources, well, number 75, tells me they play Modern East in the playoffs on Friday. And that's your look at sports on News 25. In this update on the Vegas Golden Knight score, they're just into the second period, and the Senators up 3-2 to two over the Vegas Golden Knights. Ava Parducci shares a look into events happening this weekend in Southern Nevada right now. Southern Nevada Scene, hosted by Ava Parducci, brings you the latest in local entertainment across Southern Nevada. Hi, I'm Ava Parducci, back with a look into what's going on in Southern Nevada. First up, the Game Corner and Family Fun Center in Pahrump is hosting a Halloween costume contest with three categories, each offering a trophy and $100 prize. The event, taking place Saturday, October 26th, features family-friendly fun, including food, arcade games, music, and giveaways, with free admission for all attendees. Next up, Dry Creek Saloon is hosting an open mic night featuring Mikey Ruhan every Sunday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Everyone is encouraged to bring their talent to the stage and share their performances. If you're looking to get outdoors, join the Borough of Land Management and Friends of Nevada Wilderness for a volunteer project aimed at restoring habitat for the endangered relicit leopard frog at Gold Butte National Monument from October 28th to the 30th. Volunteers will help trim vegetation and clear debris to enhance the frog's breeding environment, with the project requiring good physical condition and advanced RSVP to participate. Tonight, the Artesian Cellars in Pahrump is hosting a Halloween party from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., featuring spooky cocktails and late night snacks. Guests are encouraged to dress in their best costumes. Lastly, Saida Trudeau is hosting its first Halloween Creepy Crawler ride on Sunday, October 27th, inviting participants to bring their 4x4 or off-road vehicles. 
The day will kick off at 11.30 a.m. followed by a trunk or treat event at 5 p.m. where volunteers are welcome to help distribute candy and prizes will be awarded for the best car costume. That's all for now, but if you're interested in advertising your event, please reach out to me. Have a great weekend, Southern Nevada. Thank you very much, Ava. Coming up, your all-important weekend weather forecast. You're watching News 25. You're watching News 25. Local coverage you can count on. News 25 is brought to you by Mountain West Lawyer, Injury Attorneys, 727-9500. Welcome back to News 25, and here's Mikey again to tell us what's cooking this Sunday morning on the radio side on Classic Country Breakfast on Ace Country Radio and streaming on channel 25.8 and now on the new Ace Country Radio app. Howdy. When I'm out tilling the soil, I like to take the new Ace Country Radio app with me. You can too. Download it today. It's free. On the menu this week on Classic Country Breakfast, born on October 23rd, Dwight Yoakam will celebrate him. Born on October 24th, The Big Bopper. We'll pay tribute to him. And William Lee Golden from the Oak Ridge Boys calls the show to talk about the Oak Ridge Boys' new album, Mama's Boys, which dropped today. And he talks about how music helps him heal. It was healing to be able to uh, gather together again as a family and remembering our losses and singing songs that had spiritual meanings in the process, and that helped. It helps our healing, I feel. Classic Country Breakfast this Sunday morning at 8 on Ace Country Radio, streaming at channel 25.8, and now on the new Ace Country Radio app. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. And that's the Lauren Row weather cam right here, Pahrump, right outside the studios. The sunset, absolutely beautiful. Now, listen, I got a sneak peek at the forecast for some of the lows, the temps of next week. And, well, you might want to get your sweater out. Complete forecast in a bit. News 25 weather is brought to you by Desert View Hospital. We're here when you need us, providing compassionate and friendly care to our neighbors since 2006. DesertViewHospital.com. Good evening, Nevada. I'm Kaylee Bentler in the News 25 weather studios. Let's check out the regional weather. Up in Fernley, we saw 66. Fallon at 65, Carson City 71, total pause 71 as well, Weather Twins. Goldfield at 73, Beatty at Beatty 2, Amargosa 87, Las Vegas 84, and Death Valley at 95. But over in our paradise of Pahrump, we're currently at 84 degrees and the sun is shining. We saw a high of 87, winds in the south 6 miles per hour, humidity 11%, and the sun rose at 7 a.m., but this evening it will set at 554. Expect humidity at 20%. Winds in the east, 4 miles per hour, with a low of 54, and scattered clouds coming in. Taking a look at the rest of the week. We have those clouds still sticking around over the weekend. Um, 87 and 86, Sunday seeing 12 mile an hour winds. Uh, then we got clouds still on Monday. The wind's picking up slightly, 16 miles per hour, 76 degrees. And then we see sunshine coming back out for Tuesday. Clouds on Wednesday, but Thursday and Friday, we got sunshine and we're seeing the temperatures start to cool off, ending on 68 on Friday. And that's your look at the weather. Back to the desk. Here's Chris. Thank you very much, Kaylee. Okay, now I don't know if I even remember how to put the heat on in my vehicle, but I'll be looking for that middle of next week. That'll just about do it for all of us here. Have a safe weekend if you're out trunk or treating. You're watching News 25. Make it a great weekend.